Hello once again, I'm Fritz Stamberger for islandonlinenews.com and today is September 27th, 2011 and I'm here in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada and it's uh, about 11 a.m. this morning and we've experienced um, some small tremors today at 9.30 and 10.30 and uh, so after researching Comet Elenin, we decided that uh, we better have a look at the sun today. I'm just going to put these a uh, couple pairs of sunglass lenses in front of the camera and um, try and get a focus on the object. So here you can see, I'm going to add another one here. So, uh, and then put those in front of the camera. I'll actually zoom right in on the sun. So just take a second. Okay. So here we are, zoomed into the sun. And, uh, Try and hold that as still as possible. Another lens on. Another lens in front of it. And then uh, pulling that lens. Just, just see if we can get it lined up here. I'll hold okay. these two lenses. And okay, I'll come in with the other one. So it seems to be like okay. one of those illusion things where I think we can see it a little bit right there when the clouds pass. Okay, right there, you had it. Right there? Yeah, right there. Yeah, I see it. There it is. So here we have. Yeah, confirmed, unmistakable object in front of the sun. You can see it with the naked eye. Um, you can also see it on camera. We just had it. That's, I'm pulling the lens back and forth here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, it seems to be every now and then it's can't see uh, able it now. to reflect some... Actually, when a few clouds pass in front, it makes it even better because it makes it even another layer of filter. Uh, there we go. So, uh, anyways, we had it there for a second.